Zdrastutjet. Zastruit. Zastrutje. Zastruit e. Zastrutje. Zastrutje. Zdra. Zastrutje. Zdrastutje, technician. For those of you who don't speak Russian, that is hello. It's actually the formal hello. And if you don't want the formal hello, then you just go Privyet. So why in Russian today? Well, it's in honor of the Russians getting into the fight and starting to bomb those fuckers over there, those ISIS cocksuckers, which I fully support. Fully, fully support. Just like this person figuring out that they can't actually fit in that gap. They are uh, backing al-Assad, who the Americans are fighting, but al-Assad is fighting ISIS. So, yeah, that's a complicated story, and I'm just not going to get into it, but uh, good on you, Putin. Good on you, Ruskin. Ruskin. <laughs> good on you, Putin. Good on you, Russians, for, uh, for kicking some ass. I wholeheartedly agree. It's definitely TACMOTO approved. Let's crack this open because it's getting a little warm. So, on today's show, now that I got the uh, formal bits out of the way there, on today's show I'm going to complain about one thing, used car salesman. Hey, I'm Doug. Nice to meet you. Whoa, have you lost weight? No, it's still there. I'm just parting it on the side. Or car salesman in general. I freaking hate car salesmen. I hate them with a passion. I hate them almost as much as I hate fucking lawyers. And I hate fucking lawyers only slightly less than I hate photo radar cocksuckers. Those of you who have to deal with photo radar, the guys who actually sit in the trucks and vans and cars and take pictures and shit as you drive by, will understand that. I had an experience with a car salesman this week. And when I say car salesman, uh, Neil, you might be watching this, I don't know. Neil is the, uh, the associate that I was dealing with at uh, Southtown Chrysler, or Southtown Dodge, Ram, Jeep, whatever, you know, the dealership there here in Edmonton. And uh, Neil was excellent. He was very friendly, very professional. And uh, I was looking at maybe trading in my 1500 Ram for a 2500 diesel. And uh, I was going there basically to get the numbers, see what was going on, and then uh, consider it overnight. Long story short, Neil was doing an excellent job, was going back and forth. He was uh, essentially the runner going between me and the guy up in the little booth with the computer that does the numbers, you know. Uh, what that's all about, I, you know, if I'm dealing with a salesman, I want to deal with him. I don't want to deal with his boss. It's like, well, why am I dealing with the middle guy, right? But anyways... So everything was going good. The numbers were coming down the way I wanted them to. And uh, my trade-in value was going up the way I wanted to. It was great. And then I said that I wanted to take it home and think about it overnight and talk about it with my girlfriend. Right? You know, it's, it's always a good idea to have a second opinion. And uh, when I said that, lo and behold, the, uh, the man off the pedestal there, king shit of fucking turd town, he's, uh, he comes over. And he starts asking me, you know, hey, you know, I'm giving you all these numbers. What's what's wrong with the deal? And I said, well, I told him the same thing. I'm going to be taking it home. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk about it with my girlfriend and see what uh, what comes of it. So, him being the arrogant prick cocksucker that he is, and I'm really hoping that he watches this because I'm definitely going to be linking it to South Town's uh, dealership so that they can tell. But, uh... He comes over and starts playing the old, oh, you need to get your girlfriend's permission to buy a truck? You know, who wears the pants in the house kind of shit, right? And, uh, you know, A, my girlfriend doesn't live with me. So I don't really need her permission. So the fact that I'm involving her in this is out of uh, essentially respect. Um, but for the guy to pull that kind of a dick move... It's like, you know what, buddy? I can go buy a 2500 anywhere else. In fact, uh, for the record, those of you guys watching from Southtown, I will be buying 
my 2500 elsewhere. Um, and just so you guys know that I wasn't wasting your time or that I wasn't wasting the dealership's time, I've bought in three vehicles from that dealership over the years. Three. This would have been number four. Would have been, but will no longer be number four. Okay? Uh, I can't stand that shit, you know? I'm not one of these guys, I'll give you another chance, I'll give you a third chance, I don't give a shit. You play that stupid ass game with me once, our relationship is done. I'll make friends at another dealership, and uh, who knows, maybe Stony Plain, maybe Sherwood Park, Dodge, maybe they'll be more happy to uh, to deal with me than, uh, than your ass. But hey, thanks for spending the time on the numbers, Neil. You did a great job. Uh, remind me to take you out for steak dinner as a thank you. So... Anyways, uh, what else is on the agenda? Uh, I'm looking at also getting a new used car. Some of you guys know I have two vehicles. I have a Dodge Neon and I have a uh, Ram 1500. So what I would like to possibly do is uh, trade the Neon and get a Grand Cherokee. But not like a new one, obviously. Uh, I'm thinking around the same age, the early 2000s. Um, get something that's decently well loaded up and you know, has some, some toys and stuff on it. Something that I can essentially turn into my off-road rig. I used to have my Jeep Wrangler and, and I miss it. I miss having the lifted Jeep and, and all that. So I'm gonna be looking for one of those. And like I said, probably trading my, uh, or selling my Neon, won't be trading it in, but I'll be selling my Neon and getting one of those for myself. Now, what else has been going on this week? Well, I'm a little bit sore in the neck. Uh, for some reason, uh, I told you guys, uh, I think it was two videos ago, that you know I planned on dropping 30 pounds over the winter, getting myself into a bit more of a military shape that I was in before I left the forces. And uh, that still is the plan. But oddly enough, I can bench press... You know, I can, I can lift weights, I can do squats, I can do all that shit. But what ended up pulling my neck was I was picking up a grocery bag with a can of soup in it. Maybe, maybe half a pound of soup. I picked it up and my neck just locked. So I've been struggling with that for like the last three, four days. And uh, I decided today to take the bike out for a spin because it was a nice day and I think my neck is loosened up enough. Although these bumps are still killing my neck. They still hurt like a motherfucker. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good week. Uh, it's also my mom's birthday this week. I know I told you guys to give my girlfriend a happy birthday message. So uh, feel free to throw one up for my mom as well. It was her birthday on the 29th. So, uh, happy birthday to my mom. And uh, as a bit of a birthday present in the Moto Vlog, because she's ass, she's all worried about me yelling at dumbass drivers on the road. I won't be yelling at any dumb drivers in this video. I can't promise what I'm going to do next week. But as of this week, I won't be driving or I won't be yelling at any drivers on the street. Uh, and check this out. The lovely scenery of all the uh, fall colors coming into play. Looks pretty nice, I think. Lots of yellows and oranges. The reds will be coming in quite soon as well. And uh, I'm actually surprised it's still pretty warm. I think it's, uh, it's almost 20 degrees out today. I wonder if Darth Ram is actually out riding. Maybe I should go and stomp around in his neighborhood and see if I could spot him. Now, speaking of Darth Ram, I don't know if you guys have uh, ever checked out his channel, but uh, go check it out. Um, the, uh, the last video he put up that I actually watched, he was uh, riding on one of his friend's bikes. Uh, I think it was a Triumph, I believe. Don't quote me. I don't remember exactly. Because the only thing that seems to be sticking out in my mind is Darth Ram <laughs> listening to Men Without Hats um, pop goes the world and for those of you who don't know what that is it's the song that's playing in the background right now so I, I don't know what kind of friends you have there Darth Ram but uh, that's a that's an interesting song there 
I'm not saying it's a bad song. I'm just saying the image of a guy on a motorcycle and Pop Goes the World. I'm not sure that those are uh, the best of matches. I picture you now as being that kind of guy back in the 80s and 90s, as funny as that is. And uh, for some reason, I now cannot get that damn Pop Goes the World song out of my head. Like, it actually keeps playing in and out. I'm actually editing out all the bits where I'm kind of, you know, dun 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 you know, <laughs> that part. So, anyways, Darth Ram, um, that's what my image of you is. So, uh, we'll have to hook up one of these days. We'll hit the Timmies up and... Uh, and see what exactly you look like. See if, uh, you know, maybe you ruined my mental picture of who you are. Um, that offer also extends out to your buddy and as well of, uh, of, of was it Mr. Cal, I believe your name is. Your, uh, the other guy who rides the CBR 125. You're welcome to come out as well. The Tim's crowd is a bit of a click. I'll admit I'm not a member. I'm not a member of the Timmy's click myself. Um, but, you know. It seems to be where everybody meets up all the time. So if you want to head out there, we can definitely meet up. Um, there's also, oh crap. I only know your real name. I don't remember your your screen name. Grizz Axeman, I believe uh, your screen name is. So, you know, we can, you know, meet up and have everybody out at the same time. And uh, by all means, if you guys want to, uh, You'll get some coffees, we'll uh, we'll make those arrangements, no problem. Now I've gotten some ideas uh, from some of you guys about stuff that I can do over the winter. Uh, one of the ideas that I really, really liked was uh, just doing a comparison, a, a non-riding review of some of the motorcycles that are uh, out this year and maybe coming out next year, um, just based on articles and information that I've read. Um, that I didn't get to ride this year either. Um, stuff like the Yamaha R6, for example, uh, the CBR 1000, you know, basically that kind of stuff. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, I've also um, got the stuff that I need to prep my bike for the winter, but obviously it's not cold enough yet, so that won't be coming out. Uh, so until that happens, guys, have yourselves a good weekend, uh, ride safe, and uh, there's a bit more Russian for you. Das Vidanya.